a Yardcraft tutorial. 10 foot by 12 foot cedar pergola with 5 inch by 5 inch posts. First start by placing an L bracket on the bottom of a post. The top of the post has a notch. Make sure the bracket is flush at the bottom. Fasten to post with one and a half inch blackhead screws. Flip the post and fasten the second bracket. Repeat these steps with the other three posts. Sit two posts approximately 10 feet and 8 inches apart. Place two outside header boards above the posts opposite each other with the notches facing down. Place the long inside header board in the center of the two outside header boards and align the notches. Fasten the long inside header board to the outside header boards with two and a half inch screws. Make sure the outside header boards are tight against each other at the center splice before fastening to the second board. Place the short inside header boards on each end. Make sure they are flush at the notches and fastened with two and a half inch screws. Once the header boards are fastened, flip the header assembly around and place in the notches of the posts. Push the post and header tight against each other. It is recommended to use a triangle square to make sure the corner is a 90 degree angle. Fasten the header assembly to the post using three and a half inch screws. After fastening both ends, lift the post and header assembly to an upright position. Using your own two x four boards, create a temporary X brace and secure it in place with one screw. After assembling both post header assemblies and bracing them about 10 feet apart from outside posts, place the outside of post header board flush and against the post. Secure to the header with two and a half inch screws. Repeat this step at all four post locations. Lay out a top rafter board with two bottom rafter boards laid opposite of each other. Hold the top rafter board onto the bottom rafter board at the mark and fasten with three inch screws. Then fasten through the bottom rafter board into the top rafter board with three inch screws. Push the second bottom rafter board against the first one and repeat the previous steps. Once all eight rafters are assembled, lift the first rafter into the notches on the headers. Place the rafter so the mark on the bottom is flush with the outside of the header. Secure the rafter to the header with a three inch screw on both sides. Repeat the previous steps on both sides and all four corners. You can now remove the X braces. Next, locate a brace and make flush with the outside of the post. Fasten with three and a half inch screws. One at a time, install the remaining rafters as shown in previous steps. Locate the stringers. Place on top of the rafters with the angled end towards the outside. Fasten with three and a half inch screws. Install the stringer on the opposite side, then install all remaining stringers using previous steps shown. If installing on concrete or wood, drill a 3 16th of an inch hole through the holes in the L bracket, then fasten with two and a half inch tapcon screws. Pair one post skirt piece with a notch with one without a notch and fasten with two inch screws. Fasten a third post skirt piece with two inch screws. Make sure the notched pieces are opposite of each other. Put the assembled piece around the post with the notched pieces over the L brackets. Fasten the last post skirt piece and repeat the previous steps at all four post locations. Now you're all finished assembling your Yardcraft pergola. Enjoy.